Ask Reddit by Steven Post. What's the greatest episode of a TV show ever made? Marge v the monorail. I hear those things are awfully loud. What we do in the shadows on the run. The Jackie Daytona episode. That's how we talk in Tucson, Arizona. IA. The Scrubs episode with Brendan Frazier. I didn't know a 22 minutes show could make me cry. Dr. Cox, where do you think we are? Chernobyl Vicnea Pamayat. Comma they mistakenly sent the one good man. For God's sakes Boris, you were the one who mattered the most. Not the best line of that episode, but definitely in the top. The Inner Light Star Trek TNG. Another from TNG, The Measure of a Man. Who Goes There of True Detective is a serious adrenaline ride. Great episode from a fantastic show. Is that the one where the bikers rob the drug den? Doctor Who Blink. Also the Van Gogh episode. The Snake Juice episode of Parks and Rec. I literally made lifelong friends with someone because of this episode, back in the day you could just make Facebook pages willy nilly and I thought it would be hilarious to friend request someone named Janet Snakehole after this episode aired. Flash forward however many years later and we still talk all the time online and exchange Christmas gifts and stuff. Band of Brothers E9 Why We Fight I don't think there was a bad episode in the whole show, but that one. It just rips your heart out. Future Omer Luck of the Fryish makes me cry every time. Here lies Philip J. Fry, named for his uncle, to carry on his spirit. Everyone always mentions Jurassic Bark, but I personally think that Luck of the Fryish is slightly better. It's a bit more complex. When I first watched it, I didn't see the brother twist coming. It really got me choked up and tearful. Last episode of Six Feet Under. I get choked up every time I watch Peter Cross set off the absolutely astonishing final sequence by whispering to Lauren Ambrose you can't take a picture of this, it's already gone, just perfect. The Simpsons you only move twice. Homer Badman is also very solid. Rewatched it recently and it's just too hilarious throughout. Tales of Bossing Seth from Avatar The Last Airbender. Specifically Ira's story. That one and Appa's Lost Days both make me cry to this day, no matter how many times I've seen them. Hell, just hearing the opening notes to Leaves from the Vine will do it. Atla was definitely one of the best cartoons of that era, if not all time, in my opinion. Adventure Time I Remember You. It took far too much scrolling to find this one. A fuck ton of world building and character backstory, some really great songs, and a heart wrenching story, all in under 10 minutes. Plus it contains my favorite quote from the whole series, bad biscuits make the baker broke bro, just pure chef's kiss. Hush from Buffy. Hush and Once More with Feeling are two of the best episodes in the series, even up there as some of the best episodes of all TV. Both but trends that naysayers said couldn't be done well and they did both well. The Bend Neck Lady episode 5 of The Haunting of Hill House can be viewed as a standalone horror film without watching the series. The first episode of that series freaked me out so much. I almost didn't watch the rest of the series because of it lol. In contrast, the bendneck lady just made me sad. The last episode of Severance. Wow what a ride. Please try to enjoy each episode equally, and not show preference for any over the others. That's 10 points off. You have 90 points remaining. South Park. Make love not Warcraft. What do we do now? What do you mean? Now we can finally play the game is an all time quote. Community S3 E4 Remedial Chaos Theory. Even if you don't know it, you'd know the gifs. Edit, 
Just so you know, Jeff, you are now creating six different timelines. Speaking of GIFs, you know there was one time I was on an airplane and GIFed Earth a kit. Scrubs S3E14. Where do you think we are? Edit. I know some of you are getting messy here. Sorry. My lunch hit me fucking hard. Esp when how to save a life starts playing. Cox's raw emotion and pain in that scene gets me every time. Might just be my nostalgia for my childhood but that one episode of Spongebob where Squidward directs the band at the Super Bowl is probably Spongebob's best episode. Band geeks or something? Those first 4 seasons of Spongebob have like 10 potential best episodes, but Band Geeks is certainly one of them. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, In the Pale Moonlight Garrick is just perfect in that episode. The final episode of The Good Place is remarkable. I can't even think about it with all the feelings coming up. The whole show is amazing and should be watched by everyone. Maybe even better than the last episode of the show is the last episode of the first season, with its big reveal. It sets up the thesis for the show itself, and teaches the first of the show's most valuable and defining lessons. Pine Barons from Sopranos he killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. His house looked like shit. Mr. Robot S4E07 proxy authentication required. Tiny set, minimal number of characters, structured like a stage play and one of the most emotionally intense things I've ever watched. 407 is rated at 9.9 .9 on him and is the highest rated episode of the series, for very obvious reasons lol. 405 is my personal favorite. Telling a great story with only two lines book and in the episode is great stuff and I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. But man, season 4 as a whole is just so good. Charlie work it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Charlie work is fantastic, I would put flowers for Charlie up there with it. Pretty much any episode with a lot of Charlie is great. M.A.S.H. Goodbye, farewell and amen. Man, I can count on the fingers of one hand all of the very special episodes of any comedy series that aren't trash, but this one, right here, the series finale will suck the air right out of your lungs at least twice and every shock in it is entirely earned. Definitely one of the most impactful episodes in that show. The one that really sticks with me is period of adjustment. It's the episode after Radar leaves and everyone trying to adjust to him being gone. BJ's breakdown at the end, how he has been gone for his daughter's entire life, how Radar got to see her before he did. It makes my eyes water just thinking about it. The work outing the id crud is probably some of the most clever and funny writing I've ever seen in a TV show. That part where she turns around and mosses behind the bar is incredible. Parks and Rec the comeback kid. Damn near every line is a joke that hits and all characters are not only at the top of their game, but have a chance to shine. Plus, it birthed maybe the greatest outtake of all time. Takes place in a point where the show was in full stride. It's the episode I recommend to get people into the show. Get on your feet. Ozymandias, Breaking Bad. I was stunned by it. So many Breaking Bad episodes to choose from. Personally, I thought Face Off was pretty fucking great, 